Hello, everyone. Sorry about the lighting. It's it's in the morning, and I don't know too much light. Okay, so um, a few things really quick in this video because I actually posted some other videos throughout the lesson. Um, first regarding yesterday's work I got notifications from some people that it was a lot of work for one day and a lot of you didn't finish so what I'm going to tell you is put a pin in wherever your progress is I saw some people submitted a lot of their stuff but some people didn't so put that away for today all right because today we're going to be focusing on one thing which is planning and organizing our essay and so that's that's our job today and um, <clears throat> we're going to do that by filling in what I'm calling on Canvas the Romeo and Juliet essay planner. And so in that planner, you'll see if you open up the assignment, you'll see that there is a space for which topic you're going to write about. Topic one, two, three. There is a space for your thesis statement or your claim or your topic sentence. And I included some notes on that. And um, Miss Mays is certainly free to uh, review or help anybody who needs uh, help with that. But essentially it's one sentence that clearly states your, your paper's position or your, um, your idea that you're gonna be writing about or your claim that you're gonna be arguing about if it's, if it's about the theme. And so then there's spots for organizing your ideas. Like, uh, and again, I talk way more about this in the videos themselves. And then there's um, uh, evidence collection areas, places where to put your evidence. And so, um, the idea being is that if you work hard today, um, you should have a very good idea of how you're going to organize your essay. Each paragraph is going to talk about a different idea or a different reason or a different um, example that you want to highlight. You're going to collect textual evidence, quotes from the story. I talk more about that later. Um, you're going to put those in these organizing boxes so I can give feedback and review or help out if you need to, uh, in, if you need some. And um, and then there's some notes and explanation where you can add more details there. So the idea being is if you fully complete this um, or almost fully complete it, you'll be ready to start writing tomorrow. And that's kind of our goal. Now, if you uh, don't fin completely finish it, it'd be a good idea to work on it at homework tonight. Um, if you did complete it and you're ready to write, open up your own Google Docs page and start writing. Get ahead of the game. Um, but again, uh, that's that's our lesson today and ignore any missing work from yesterday. All right. So yesterday's lesson was meant to take one day. The fact that it didn't, I'm not stressing about. We'll figure something out when I get back. And uh, but we want to get ourselves ready for our essay. Remember, um, in terms of length of essay, it's going to be 500 to 1000 words, which seems like a lot. But if you actually looked like 1000 words is one to two pages on Google Docs, 500 to 1000 words is one to two pages. Um, and if you do your work today, you should be all set. Um, so if you're confused or if you're um, not sure how to fill it in correctly, that's okay. Just keep in mind that today is about organizing your ideas, figuring out which prompt you're gonna write about, what you're gonna write about, what parts of the story you're gonna use in your essay. And then the quotes themselves from those, uh, so those parts and, and what they mean to your essay. And so that's our purpose. Um, so let's try to keep bathroom breaks down to a minimum. Let's do that five minutes thing. I know some people are abusing that, which I'm gonna have to come back and crack down on when I get back and put those phones away so you can get focused, all right? So um, hopefully I'm in tomorrow. I don't know. I will let everybody know what's going on this evening whenever I'm done. All right, have a good day, get your work done and I'll see you soon.